දක්ෂ හා ප්‍රකට ක්‍රිකට් ක්‍රීඩක මහාදේවන් සතාසියෝම් තම බිරිය වූ පරිපූර්ණ ආනන්දම් ගෙල මිරිකා මරා දමූ බවට චෝදනා එල්ල වී තිබිණි. නිවසේ සේවකයා විලියම් දුන් සාක්ෂියකට අනුව තම ස්වාමියාගේ අණ පරිදි සතාසියෝම් මහත්මියගේ දෙපා තමන් අල්ලාගෙන සිටියදී සතාසියෝම් මහතා ඇගේ ගෙල මිරිකා මරා දමුවේ උදෑසන නම යෙත්තියට පමණය. එහෙත් එදින සතාසියෝම් මහතා කැඳවාගෙන යාමට පැමිණි කුලී රතේ රියදුරා සාක්ෂි දෙමින් පැවසු වී පෙරවරු 10:30ට පමණ තමන් සතාසියෝන් මහතා කැඳවාගෙන යද්දී දොරකඩ සතාසියෝන් මහත්මිය සිටගෙන සිටින දුටුවා කියාය. मैं नडुए साक्षी सटान सियाल ये महाचार तुम्हां एडिंबरो ही इंदला परशील ने कर ये तुम्हां मेक दी मैं मेक दी ना हरी पर वैदेका लस्सन दे तमाई ये तुम्हां मैं नडु पार्टा किए वाला साय मैं सताशुम बैठनी के शरीर रहते बीच तू आला देखा ला लंकावे गुण तोड़ पोले बहला ये तुम्हाँ टा आवश्य विवेक पाड़ू आरके ना मैं काटू इतने भाई ना वेनु वटा ये गुण मैं गुण तोड़ रुपले इन दिला क्लीम मैं सतासी मैं तीन ये ये मारने से दोनों स्थाने टे पहमिला मैं परीक्षा होगा। Sirs, men, what are your qualifications to conduct an investigation into a murder of this nature? My lord. I've conducted many investigations into mysterious murders of this nature throughout the world. Similarly, I've written several books regarding my investigations into these murders, revealing details of my studies and investigations. I have earned the special trust of countries throughout the world regarding my investigations into murders of this nature. What is your observation on the report of Professor Serum? Dean of the Faculty of Medicine of Colombo University, who conducted the post-mortem examination of Mrs. Paripurnam. I made all observations in post-mortem of Mrs. Paripurnam and Anna. Especially, I saw in that report that the wound, bruises, and abrasions were caused by strangulating in the neck area. When I examined the report, according to my experience, I can say that such bruises, wound and abrasion would, would be caused when the victim stands and the murderer strangulates her neck from behind. Is that the only data you collected from the report? No. It was reported that on her left hand elbow area there were bruises. This shows that she sustained these bruises in some place when she was struggling to save her life. Not only that, it was mentioned by Professor Sarum in his report that in her fingernails of her hands, she had certain deposits of some flesh with human blood. This suggests that it's not from her death struggles, but must be from the murderer's body. Another special feature is that dirt and soot found on the sole of the victim is similar to the dirt and soot found in the kitchen environment. I am of the opinion that this murder occurred in the kitchen.
Mr. Smith here. Naitika Tinduaka Rupuni Saksia. Adegan awal, nang ayek puk, me kakul lola, me jati patul lola, me kunu dia ni dia kena. Ini me belu ham, sini me satasi me ini ayek kakul lola, abih dekena apu salah kunu ti buna. Ini me anu, witi itu awa sar tak kelas, ar sini swit mahacara revisi sakti pasing witi le sakti dunna, oya karena ohuge widyat me kaparvesi niya datya nupeyok kerana ohu nikamane ayek kara. तो अधिकार ने तो पेन्ना दूँगा तभी नहीं ले साक्षी मार्ग इन पेन्ने ना कार्य कर निम्न ही इटों ना व्यंत आ कार्य कर में मारने सिद्धेलाती ने पावे
தீந்துவக்க ரூபமே சாக்ஷிய According to the evidence of William, Mr. Satasivam had murdered her in the room in the upper floor. Mr. Satasivam strangulated the neck of uh, Mrs. Paripurnam with both hands on the floor, striking her chest with his knee. For that, Satasivam obtained the help of William when she was in death struggle. I've personally studied several cruel murders of this nature. I'm submitting forensic evidence. I don't act on a hypothetical basis. If that is so, how would you describe the manner in which this murder was committed? Clearly, this is not an instance where she was strangulated on the ground. This has taken place when the victim was in a sitting position. The murder has strangulated her from behind. My Lord, I am in 100% agreement with the evidence given by Sir Smith. Professor Serum, Dean of the Faculty of Medicine of Colombo University, has also in his post-mortem report submitted the same argument. As I have shown earlier, Satasivam was not at home when the murder took place. Only William was. According to William, she was strangulated on the floor of the room upstairs. This has now been repudiated by two expert forensic witnesses. If the murder was committed while she was standing, then it took place not in the room, but in the kitchen. Therefore, I wish to state that scientifically, the facts given by the accused William are false. I am not sure that 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 I